Hello all. In this lecture, we are going to learn about a small program that is finding out uh, total marks uh, scored and what is the percentage for a person, right? So here in this program, I had considered each subject is for 100 marks. So I want uh, subject marks to be 100. And then I wanted to declare to which category that particular person that is depending upon the total marks and percentage. I wanted to categorize whether that person is uh, belongs to first class or second class or distinction or simply the fail. Okay. So for that, I had to the total number of subjects six. Each subject carries 100 marks. And then I calculated the total and then the percentage. And if suppose my percentage is greater than or equals to 70, then I need to give distinction uh, greater than or equals to 60 first class, uh, greater than or equals to 50 second, greater than or equals to 40 third division. And uh, in rest of all other cases, I need to print the result as fail. <clears throat> right so for that what all are my requirements are uh, for this program is i wanted to uh, store six subject marks six different subject marks so i had declared six variables for reading six subject marks and one variable as total and other one as percentage all the all of them i had to uh, taken in the form of integer data type only so I'm asking user to enter six subject marks. So I wanted to store each into uh, each subject. That is uh, address of sub one, sub two, sub three, sub four, sub five, and sub six. So six subjects I'm reading using scanf. So I need to use six percentile these, right? How to find out the total? Simply add sub one, two, three, four, five, six. So that addition is stored into the total. And coming to the percentage of total, total into 100 by the 600. So this was a basic general formula what we will be using for finding out the total and uh, finding out the percentage of the total marks, right? And then after that, what we wanted to do is I wanted to categorize depending upon the percentage. So if suppose that fellow had got percentage greater than or equals to 70, then I should print it as distinction, right? Else if percentage is greater than or equals to 60, you will get the output as first division. If his percentage is greater than or equals to 50, second division. Else if percentage is greater than or equals to 40, third division. Else fail. And finally, return zero because I had written here int main. Okay. So I think the... Uh, logic was clear here nothing more to explain line by line or the, uh, doing extracurricular act, uh, activities over here right anyhow we'll just see once the output of this program <coughs> just compile the code and then run the code so i as i said uh, six subject marks i wanted to give as 60 70, 80, 90, 85, and uh, 78, right? Six subject marks I had given. And see the total marks I got is 46, 463. And the percentage obtained is 77. So I had got the value as distinction. If suppose I'll give the values uh, lesser values, what will happen? Like 34, 60. 55, 46, 65, 55, right? So he got around 315 marks. Percentage is 52 percentage. So he got into the second division. So this is what when you will give some six, uh, six subject marks, it will perform the total. It will calculate the percentage. And then it will tell to which division that particular person belong to, right? So here uh, you can see, as I said, we are taking six subjects, six different variables and total one variable. I'm asking user to enter six subject marks. Mm -hmm. You are reading those values into each subject. Total is equals to subject one plus subject two plus subject three plus subject four up to subject six. And then you are calculating the percentage total into 100 by 600. Why I'm taking here 600 is I wanted to calculate subject total subject marks for six subjects each subject is of 100 marks so total 600 so depending upon your requirement if suppose you are considering 25 marks then you need to change the 
total that is 25 into 6 whatever the total you'll get that one you need to uh, make as a denominator in the percentage then the percentage you will get so depending on the percentage you are using just if condition and you are categorizing them into distinction first division second division or the third or finally fail right so this is what a simple program for calculating percentage of marks okay thank you